everybody, Daniel Rock Zero here, back again in our video. 2000 year in review continues with WCW Fall Brawl. I knew, actually I knew in 1999 that I would have to suffer through a lot of terrible shows. And I didn't think these shows were that bad. I mean, I've heard and I've seen bits and pieces of these shows, of these matches, of the bad matches of the shows. And I thought... You know, that is pretty bad, but it can't get worse than that, could it? So, then I watched Sold Out. I started it all out with Sold Out, and I thought, this is a really bad show. There's Spring Stampede, and that's pretty bad. Then there's even worse shows than that, and I thought those were pretty bad shows, but then there's even worse shows than that. Super Brawl, and Uncensored were worse shows but then there's even worse shows than that and there's I mean how could that be worse shows than that then that you got you got the Great American Bash holy shit was that bad but then there was even a worse show on a completely different level I mean the Great American Bash was terrible but then you had and don't worry it still is but then you have the New Blood Rising which which, in comparison, makes Great American Bash looks phenomenal. But it's still a bad show. But no, New Blood Rising is a whole new level of shit. Code Red shit. A zero. A terrible show. So then after all that crap, through the sold outs, through the uncensors, through the New Blood Risings, I thought, there's, there's got to be one show. There's got to be one show. After about to give up, after watching these shows, there's got to be one show that's worth watching. There's got to be one show that at least has some decent matches. Maybe even a great match. There has to be one show, at least in WCW, that is great in 2000. Or at least somewhat decent. And if it's decent, by golly, that decent show would be praised great. Because comparing a decent 2000 WCW show to New Blood Rising would be gold. I didn't think it would exist. I didn't think it existed. But it does. It does exist. There is a decent show out there in 2000 WCW. And its name is Fall Brawl. Fall Brawl is not just a decent show. It's a good show. It's a good show. I mean, it's not, it's not fucking awesome. It's not even great. It's not as great as other WCW shows. It's not even the greatest, one of the top 20 WCW shows out there. But it's still, I mean, watching so many bad shows, I mean, after seeing a somewhat decent show, holy shit, that has to be worth praising. So let's start it out. Elix Skipper. Prime Tom Baby defeats Kiwi to retain his Cruiserweight Championship in a decent opener. All the Cruiserweight titles I keep on shitting about because Ed Ferrara's fat shit. But this was somewhat decent. A 5 out of 10. Misfits in action defeat 3 counts in a solid match. St uh, th 3 stars. A 6. 6 out of 10. We have some bad matches on here. The worst match on this card is the Harris Brothers versus chronic in a first blood chain match I don't know how you can get so many bad gimmicks and turn out to be a bad match but the two worst tag teams in my opinion of all time are in this match you'd think it'd be the worst match of all time but honestly it's not that bad when you're watching New Blood Rising and you watch Great American Bash I, I guess when you see a bad match like this you're kind of resilient to it because I've seen a whole lot worse shit than this a two seriously we have Lance Storm defeating Hugh Morris to retain the United States Heavyweight title. The only thing that's terrible about, the, about this is the finish. And that's when, ho, oh, Jim Duggan, of all people, turns his back against America and joins Team Canada. Yeah, tough guy. Joins Canada. And guess what? Nobody cares. A 6 out of 10. Two sixes? No way. It's true, though. Another solid show. Another solid match. But you know what? Here's another solid match. We have a two we have a a six on six elimination match. Natural born thrillers 
so many people on the team. We have Sean O'Hare, Sean Stasiak, Chuck Palumbo, uh, Mark Jindrak, uh, a whole lot of other guys. You got Rey Mysterio, Juventud, uh, Conan, and Disco, and a lot of other guys, and Paul Orndorff of all guys. This was a really good match until the finish. They stopped the match because Paul Orndorff got injured. So you're telling me WWF could not stop a show because Owen Hart died, but WCW can stop a match because Paul Orndorff got injured. <laughs> yes. See? I guess Vinny Rue has a soul after all. I guess WCW had a soul. Sorry about that, guys. A 6 out of 10. It was pretty awkward finish, though. But still, another solid match. Then we have Shane Douglas and Tori Wilson defeating Billy Kidman and Medusa in a get this a scaffold match. It was kind of bad, but most scaffold matches are pretty boring. A three. Next up, we have Sting versus Great Muda and Vampiro in a handicap match. This, I don't know why they brought back Muda in this shit and not push him against Sting. I mean, even if it is 2000 WCW, I mean that has to draw money somewhere. Thankfully. This feud between Vampiro and Sting is over with, and we had and we can move on. A three. Mike Awesome defeats Jeff Jarrett when of all people has to help him. Guess who helps Mike Awesome to win this? The Buffalo Bills help him. Sting helps him out. But of all celebrities in the world to help him out, guess who helps him? Take a guess. You're never gonna guess it. You ready for this? You ready? Gary Coleman. Gary fucking Coleman. Low blowed Jeff Jarrett and then got smacked in the face with a guitar. <laughs> Gary fucking Coleman. Instantly a 5 out of 10 for Gary fucking Coleman. We have Scott Steiner being Go uh, Goldberg. Godzilla meets King Kong and all of you circle jerks people who want to see Adrian Neville versus Finn Balor versus Dolph Ziggler in a three hour Iron Man match would hate this match. This is. The best match of Goldberg's career. The best singles match of Scott Steiner's career. It's the best WCW match of 2000. And that says a whole lot. An 8.5 out of 10. It was a war. The only complaint I have was Vinny Rue couldn't help himself but get interference in this match. Scott Steiner picks up the victory after one of the biggest wars I've ever seen. An 8.5 out of 10. The best match of 2000 WCW. And then we end it all off. With Booker T going over Kevin Nash. Yes, that's right. Kevin Nash puts somebody over in Booker T in a steel cage match. And Booker T becomes the WCW champion once again in a good main event. A 7 out of 10. You have three solid matches, a great main event, and a phenomenal, awesome war between Goldberg and Scott Steiner. My final verdict is a 5.2 out of 10. Yes, there's some bad matches here, but after witnessing some of the worst shit I've ever seen in my life, that bad stuff does not compare at all. If you're going to watch one show, this is it. Fall Brawl is, is, to explain it, it's the bronze. It's not gold. It's bronze out of a mega huge landfill of garbage. And we get back to the garbage with Halloween Havoc. I couldn't believe it. A good WCW 2000 pay-per-view exists. I highly recommend this show. Fall Brawl. See you next time for the, one of the worst shows of all time. Again with Halloween Havoc. Goodbye.